Hey everyone, so sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded a Starshine Legacy, so today I'm gonna upload level three Pine Hill Mansion. Too many things are buzzing in Linda's head. Meteor can can connect with her. It's almost like she can read his thoughts, and now she has had a horrible presentation of a horrible disaster. Time is running out, and hopefully she can find clues at the old Pine Hill Mansion. It feels good to be with her trusted horse, Meteor, but the thought of going into the old house chills her to the bone. It's a good thing that Lisa agreed to meet her at at the mansion. Side now. Where's Lisa? Yes, you said she's in the grand house. I wonder where that is. Hmm, 
it's locked. There's no keyhole. Maybe there's another way to open it. I'll look around. Hmm. This picture looks a bit like ah. I wonder if the sun means that anything. Or why are there so many flowers in the picture? looks a bit like Alex, but this bitch is different than the others in many ways than one. This is the only figure that is actually holding the sword and there are no flowers at all. The flash and everything makes that picture looks a little more arrogant than the others. It's strange. Hmm, it's locked. And there's no keyholes. Maybe there's another way to open it. I'll look around. Okay, got two doors locked. That red hair reminds me of someone I know. Very well. It's strange that this picture looks like my new friend Lisa. But what does the star and the sword and the flowers? Oh, yeah. Mean. Let's check out up and see what we can Hey, these two swords look like they can be moved. one of the doors downstairs. Investigating something hidden deep under the ocean floor. I saw you moving. Could this be connected to the dark core drilling? So that's the secret of Pinehill Mansion. That's enough to pay him work for one day. I better get going. Happy to see you. How did he get up there? Can you come down? Uh -huh. No, the stairs block broke up that I climbed up. So? What did you hope to find up there? Uh, I don't know. I was just curious, that's all. Yeah, I know. I'll look for a ladder. Lord. I think I saw one somewhere in the greenhouse. I can see the garden from here. Okay, pick that up. Why would you think you're going up there looking for something? You silly girl. There you go. Thanks a lot. Wait, what's that? Huh? A car. It's right outside. Yes. 
I know, and you have to take care of her. You know, the guy at the stables. I know exactly what you mean. And soon the sass will strike the building. The bomb will dissipate. Stupid horse riding competition. Yeah. Right, sure. Let's deal with Herbert now. That would be fun. They're going to do something horrible to Herman. We're just going to get to her stables before Mr. Sand's evil boons. Lord. Why not just call him? There's no phone in the stables, and Herman doesn't like cell phones, so he doesn't got one. Oh no, you're probably all alone in the stables right now. Oh. Oh, I see. We have no time to lose. Let's ride. Woohoo! We finished level three. I just thought since it's been a while, I may as well do episode do level four as well. So we're gonna do level four too. Okay, okay. The ray level four. The race back to the stables. There's no time to lose. The zone Mr. Sands is involved in whatever back dark station is going on here. He seems to the moment to detonate the Yorbic Dam. Who's it the government person who's just arrived in town? And what's the connection between the stars and the ocean floor outside? You're big. Now, one of Mr. Sand's evil henchmen is speeding towards the stables, towards and hunting Mr. Mr. Herman. Since Herman doesn't have a cell phone, Lisa and Meteor must beat the car racing toward the stables. Okay, now it's time. We have to get to the stables to warn Herman before Mr. Sands evil goons get there. We can take a shortcut through the countryside and get there before them. Let's go, Medium. Now this is already gonna hit. Oh, well. Hurry up, Linda.
riding five cylinder, we may not make it.